one, Richard Johnson. Two, Carberry Cross, Liam Cooper. Three is Inox, uh, the Mount of Thierry Duman. Four is a Farabad, Tony McCoy. Still sitting on that uh, 198th winner. He's had two seconds in two races so far. Five is Truckers Tavern, Davy Russell. Six, Icronal Royal, Mick Fitzgerald. Seven, Exit to Way, Ruby Walsh. And take out number eight, Jimmy Tennis, a non-runner. So seven to go in this countersport.co.uk uk silver cup handicap chase let's have a look now at a full show of betting with angus quite a lively betting heat and it's about the favorite here truckers tavern it's been threes this early doors uh, this morning but five to two on the race course and it's now two to one really good solid support for it uh, 11 to two bar the one then six to one exit to wave seven to one's a farabad berajan carberry cross and inox uh, uh, maybe the outsider at eight to one though sure to be very Beirajan, first one to step off on the far side from Zafarabad the near side they jump it together Inox just behind them and uh, Truckers Tavern's gone Truckers Tavern's gone at the first blundered and uh, went a couple of strides and got rid of Davy Russell so he's out at the first coming to the second Beirajan the far side from Zafarabad they jump it together. There's the riderless horse in the background. He appears to have uh, taken no harm from that tumble. In third then is Inox with a light green cap, followed by Carberry Cross, and further back, exit away from Icronal Royal. As they head to the first of the ditches. Beirajan the far side, from on the near side, Zafarabad. The grey is Zafarabad, there four or five lengths to Inox, followed then on the near side by Carberry Cross, exit away, and uh, further back in the field, Icronal Royal as they come to this water. Had a casualty in the previous race had it, but all over safely here, I'm pleased to report. Heading now towards Swindley Bottom on the first occasion, and a steady pace set in this very heavy ground today by Zafarabad. Tony McCoy on the inside, on the grey, from Beirajan, the top weight under 11-12. And there's uh, Davy Russell. He appears to be okay, he's walking away, got a little bit of treatment there from the uh, ambulance attendants as they race out of Swindley Bottom now towards the fifth and Beirajan the far side heads towards it fiddled that one from uh, on the near side of Farabad who met it slightly wrong two lengths away then Inox followed by exit to wave Icronal Royal the dark jacket over on the far side and Carberry crosses behind them as they head over the sixth heading up now towards the second ditch and Zafarabad on the left the grey from on the far side, Beirajan, who was asked for a big one there. He thought otherwise, but uh, clever enough to get away with it. They're about two or three lengths in front of Get Real and Carberry Cross from Inex and Icronal Royal as they come to the eighth. Better jump by Beirajan at that one. Sailed over that and touches down together with Zafarabad. They're four or five lengths clear as they race up towards the entrance to the home straight on the uh, first occasion. Carberry Cross lying in third, wearing the famous Arkel colours. Arkel won this race uh, more than 30 years ago in uh, when the race was known as the SGB. As they head into the home straight now and head uh, over fence number nine and all over safely. Visibility poor in the home straight, but uh, the final fence visible from the judge's box and that's all that matters as they head to the 10th. Zafarabad the far side, Beirajan the near side, they touch down together. Three links or so to Carberry Cross, followed then by Inox on the near side from Get Real and Icronal Royal, ridden very quietly at the back of the field. As these six runners race past the judge with a circuit to go and ten to jump. And so far the only casualty, Truckers Tavern, who went at the first. Beirajan just shading Zafarabad as they head past the judge. They've opened up a gap of three lengths or so over Carberry Cross. Followed next on the outside uh, at this stage by Exit to Wave, then Inox and Ecrinal Royal and the dark jacket on the near side rail. Heading down the side, back where they started now. And a change of camera angle. And Zafarabad on the near side. Beirajan the far side with a white face as they head to the 11th. And Beirajan out jumps Zafarabad at that one. There, three lengths to Carberry Cross. Exit to Wave, just getting reminders there to shake his uh, ideas up. Further back is Icronal Royal, who's yet to make a move, and Inox has lost ground as they come to the 12th. And uh, Zafarabad was too close to that. Beirajan, the top weight, sailed over it and has opened up a gap now of four, five lengths on the field. Zafarabad going second as they come to the third ditch. 
exit to wave is just behind them but uh, Bayrajan striding nicely towards it and jumps it well jumped it like a stag so Farabat in second exit to wave is third then Carberry Cross and Inix who have both lost ground and now being hard ridden is Ikrinal Royal trying to get into the race but Bayrajan going as well as any or better coming towards the water steps over it well about four lengths in front of exit to wave in seconds of Farabad just starting to feel the pinch as they race into Swindley Bottom now with uh, about seven furlongs to travel. Inix is behind them, followed next in the field by Ikrinal Royal, and they've drawn away from Carberry Cross, who's called it a day. But at this stage, Bay Rajan Richard Johnson going well in front. This uh, top weight with 11 stone, 12, making light of it at the moment. Leads by four, five lengths, and going well. Jumps well so far. So he comes now towards six out. Uh, lands over two or three clear. Uh, Ikrinal Royal has pulled up, and so too Carberry Cross and Zafarabad wasn't clever at that as they come to five out. Bayrajan got over at about two or three clear. Exit the wave is now looming up as a threat. A gap Zafarabad and Inix who are the only two other two continuing as they head towards the last ditch. Four out. Bayrajan getting a bit weary under top weight but got over it safely by a length and a half to win second. Exit the wave just given a slap with the whip. A long gap then to Inix as they head up towards the third last. Bayrajan steadies at it. He's getting tired. He jumped out to his left but lands safely from exit to wave. They're clear of Inix who came to it as we just changed camera angle there and uh, heading towards the home turn. Two left to jump in this Canter Sport uh, Co. Dot UK Silver Cup and the leader is Bayrajan by two lengths to exit to wave in second. They've cleared right away. They're the only ones in it I'd say as they come up with two left to jump. Bayrajan the yellow jack at the near side steadies at it being grabbed now by exit to wave the far side. They settle down to fight it out now with one fence left to jump. Visibility very very poor. Can't see them from the stands. They're heading towards the last now. It looks like only two in it. Bayrajan on the near side and exit the wave the far side. They draw towards it now. They take off together. Bayrajan touches down a fractional leader. Exit the wave trying hard to reel him in on the far side. But Bayrajan under top weight is digging deep. Now fighting back. Exit the wave. Bayrajan just holding on close home. And Bayrajan is just going to win it. What a mighty win and a mighty finish second exit to wave a long gap then it's a distance to Inix who's fighting out third with Zafarabad who's coming back Zafarabad will get up and snatch third right on the line from Inix and uh, they're the only finishers well what a thriller it was this cantersport.co.uk silver cup the winner is number one Bayrajan Bayrajan is the winner under 11-12, ridden by Richard Johnson, trained by Henry Daly for the Bayrajan uh, partnership. At Ascot, second was exit to wave at 6-1, third Zafarabad at 15-2, and the favourite was Trucker's Tavern at...